So just pop the carburetor open. It's as clean as the rest of the mower. The exhaust, I've got it bolted down here. I've got two bolts up here. The back tires are now on. So this is what the bumper's looking like. I just welded it together. This for the front, that's a one inch shaft. That is a seven inch pulley for a five eighths inch shaft and a four inch pulley. The pulley is now welded together. The rear end was pressure washed yesterday. The pulley was added this morning. The rear end is back in. That was the stock one. This is what we're going to. And that is the stock size belt. So for the wheelie bars, one of my last steps on this build. And then just like that, pretty much a matching set of wheelie bars. So the pool ball is installed. So I'm right here in the shop with fast mowers and sometimes when you get down on it, it sounds like a belt slipping. And when you push the clutch all the way in, sometimes the belt pops off. I just found this big idler pulley on one of the parts mowers. I think that'll fix all my problems. I've already got some angle iron under there. I'll cut that up, weld that up, drill a couple holes, we'll get this baby installed. I might paint this first though. So I just did a custom paint job on the idler pulley, half yellow, half black. That'll look good when it's spinning under there. Anyway, I would have had the bracket finished, but me and the boy, we went for a trail ride on Major Murray and Colonel Craftsman. Now back to that bracket. It is custom idler pulley bracket building update time. Uh, this one bolts to the frame, this one bolts to the frame. I'll probably put that one on first, then we'll go this one into place, and then to tie them all together, this bolt goes in between the two, nut goes on the bottom, it gets tight, this has to be tightened, belt goes here, should be all good. The custom bracket and idler pulley is now in place. You can see how much better the belt is in line. When we push the clutch in, the belt should stay on better. So I'm right here in the shop with fast mowers. I've got to put the seat back on Major Murray borrowed the seat and it just added an idler pulley. I tried to pop wheelies the other day and I had some belt slip issues. I was trying to do some speed runs and the belt would sound like it was slipping. So now with the new idler pulley and I'm also thinking about putting some taller tires. These are my shortest tires on my fastest mower. On the original Poland it's got 25 inch tall tires. I think it did 28. On Silver Bullet it's got 22 inch tires and it did 29. This has some 20s and it did 40. So I'm going to put some 22s. So I'm going to stick on these 22 inch tall dirt devils off a of silver bullet. Silver's not using right now. Silver has paddle tires. When we roll this one into place, it looks like the tractor tire has about three inches of clearance here, but the shifter underneath there is about an inch and a quarter. I don't know if that's going to clear these dirt devils, but we've got to try. These are the 22s that's currently on silver bullet, the paddle tires. Love those in the sand. Not so much around the farm. And then I just remembered silver and pollen, silver and fast mower, they're pretty much the same mower, just a different hood. Silver has that same shifter. If those wheels worked on silver, it should work on here. So one tire's on, one tire's good to go. When I say good to go, it is very close. If we get it going 40 something miles an hour and that tire expands, I hope you can see that. It's about an eighth of an inch clearance between the shifter and the tread. And another problem, when I first put it on, it was rubbing on the wheelie bar. So I took a washer and I spaced it out about a sixteenth of an inch. So a lot of close tolerances here. I 
do that during a speed run. So I was having a little bit of throttle stick and wide open issue and that's not good on something this sketchy. Anyway, the cable and the spring was having a little bit of a fight so I cut the cable off. Then I drew a new hole and extended the spring. It has a little more tension. When we pull now, everything's back up and running. I'm going to hook this back up to the gas pedal. Then we'll try again. 237 down at the river. It's the Little St. Mary's and we're doing a speed run today with fast mowers. I've got taller bike tires. I've installed an extra outer pulley for better traction and there's a basket for picking up cans. Makes us look official if we're picking up cans. Anyway, I did this bridge one time. It was a magnet fishing video. Found a bunch of crud here. Road signs, barricades, chairs, wheels. Uh, nothing really great, but found a lot of stuff here. I'll leave a link for that. I didn't bring the magnet today. I'll just leave you a link. Anyway, let's go hit the uh, road and see how fast this baby goes. I've got my picker-upper thing. We're not really riding, we're just picking up trash. Watch this. So I went to ride fast mowers last night and the belt was off. Time to build a couple belt guards, belt keepers. Anyway, uh, I don't always want to lay on the ground. Let's get that problem fixed. And also I think I'll take the tall tires off the back. I know it'll do 44. I don't feel like I need to do 44 every day. If we're going to put the track tires back on that match. And then maybe uh, go for a ride and put the video out. Front belt keeper number one is done and they're fun to build. You know you're at the end of the project when you're making these. Trying to get it painted and put on. 
Waiting for the paint to dry, I am changing tires. Dirt Devil versus Trader Tread. Which do you like best? Trader Tread's going back on. Right here on Major Murray, I got my boots. I've got my raincoat, my rain pants in the pizza oven. I've got the last belt keeper. It should be dry by now. A little bit tacky. As soon as this dry, we're gonna put it on and we may go for a mud run. I plowed up the mud hole yesterday. Here's a clip from that. I need to hurry up. The sun is almost out. If we look underneath, there's the original belt keeper right there. The second belt keeper would be that one. And I just got the third belt keeper on. So I just plowed this yesterday and then it rained all night. I got a feeling we're fixing to get super muddy. That's okay, I got my raincoat on. Can you see me now? Oh, and the gas pedal in these rubber boots. It's not all that much fun. Oh well.
forget to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Want to see me do a wheelie?